A poster on one of the forums that I regularly visit recently asked a question on how the lungs work, how air flows into the lungs, how chest rise occurs, that sort of thing. So in order to demonstrate that, I have here a model lung. The pink balloon is the lung. The plastic bottle itself is the chest wall. The space between the plastic bottle and the pink balloon is the pleural space. And the green balloon is the diaphragm. Now before we get into this, a uh, quick discussion on the physics involved. Air, which is a type of fluid, always moves from areas of high pressure to low pressure. So in order for the lung to expand, you have to decrease the pressure inside the lung. The way that is accomplished is the chest volume increases. And there's two muscles that do that. The first set of muscles is the external intercostal muscles between the ribs, which contracts to uh, pull the ribs out. The, ri the intercostal muscles and the ribs at the top operate in a pump handle fashion, which is when the inter external intercostal muscles contract, the uh, chest cavity moves out like this, like a pump handle. And the ribs at the bottom operate in a different fashion known as a pail handle, in which they come out like a pail handle going from the side to the top. Um, and doing so increase the volume that in one way. The other way that it works is the diaphragm, which is normally bowed up into the inner thoracic cavity, contracts pulling it down. The result of that is the pressure inside the chest cavity and the lungs um, decreases, which pulls air from the atmosphere, which, has, which is now at a higher pressure, into the lungs. So, um, when the chest cavity, can, so when the muscles contract in inhalation, the lung expands. For exhalation, um, in a human, there's two different methods. The first method, which is in normal day-to-day -day life, is a passive method, where both the muscles moving back to their regular position, so the diaphragm bulging up, and then also the um, alveolar sacs themselves are surrounded by elastin fibers. So the let me pull this out, I have another demo here too. So the alveolar sacs literally act like a balloon um, in exhaling, where the pressure on the sacs pushes the air out and increases the pressure inside the lung, which expels the air. Um, during periods of heavy breathing, such as respiratory stress, exercise, that sort of thing where you're trying to physically pump the air out, the internal intercostal muscles contract, thereby pulling the ribs into the body, and the abdominal muscles contract, thereby helping to compress the, increase the abdominal pressure, which would help force the diaphragm to bulge into the lungs, into the thoracic cavity, thereby helping to collapse the lungs. So as a quick demonstration, we have inhalation, exhalation, inhalation, and exhalation.